What's up everyone? I hope you're having an awesome week. Hope you have fun training and just enjoying your life. Life is meant to be enjoyed and to have fun and to be happy even in hard times, even in whatever situations we might be in. Just always look for ways that you can throw a positive spin on things because uh, you know in recent experiences I found if I can always put a positive spin on things, always look at things from a different perspective, life is a lot more enjoyable. It's all perspective, it's all um, it's all relative. We all have different life situations. Some things that make some people depressed don't bother other people and some things that make some people happy don't make other people happy. We're all different. We're all on a different spectrum in life and just being able to look at life from different perspectives can just open our eyes and help us appreciate the beauty of our life. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to do a Q&A for a specific question and before I get into that I wanted to let you know about a live stream I'm going to be doing this coming Wednesday on this channel. That's going to be 4 p.m. Mountain Time and so you can look up on Google what that translates to for your time zone wherever you're at. Um, there I'll just be doing some live question and answers and uh, if you aren't able to make it during the live stream I'll still upload that, cha that video right after on this channel so that you are still able to watch it. But I am going to be doing more live streams in the future um, on my Patreon page. So for those who are following me on Patreon and have become Patrons, I'll be doing those more frequently for them so that they have that opportunity. So if you would like to be a part of these more regularly, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. I'll have a link in the description. But uh, otherwise, you can just join me for this uh, public live streaming event, that, which will be this coming Wednesday. And so now, on to the question. The question that I've been asked is, have I ever wanted to give up? Now, I think that's relative to what it's specifically referring to. Is it referring to parkour, my career, or specific moves? They all have different answers. But to answer the question just in general, in learning parkour, I would say that I've never wanted to give up doing parkour. Um, because it's never been something that is like something I am pursuing and like have to reach a certain point or if I don't it was all for a waste. That's not how I view parkour. Parkour for me is a lifestyle. It's a way of living and viewing the world around me. And so I've never wanted to give up on parkour because I've always just enjoyed doing it. I've always just enjoyed moving, even doing basics and just going outside and exploring. So in that perspective Parkour isn't about giving up, it's just about doing it. It's just about, you know, exploring your body and just having fun in, uh, in whatever environments you live around. Now when it comes to specific tricks in parkour or free running or tricking, there have definitely been times where I want to give up on those individual tricks and, <laughs> and sometimes I just have. I, there's some tricks I've tried learning at one point and I just kind of gave up and haven't gone back to learning them, you know, which isn't necessarily the best attitude, but I just kind of changed my mind that, oh, I guess I don't really want to learn that, I'll focus on something else. So, so that has happened where I uh, am discouraged when I'm trying to learn uh, new tricks. Sometimes though, it's just a matter of taking a break from a trick or a movement and then working on some other stuff and oftentimes working on those other movements eventually develop my coordination and a learning ability that when I do go back to that other move or trick, I'm able to learn it. I'm able to learn it when I once thought it, it would be impossible for me. And so I'd never completely close my mind, you know, I'd never completely give up on any single trick um, just because, you know, the, your human body is limitless. It's all about how much effort you can put into your training and, and just always being aware of your learning ability and not pushing too fast past that so that you don't get injured and things like that. So as long as you can stay motivated in training, I feel like it's okay if you need to take a break or give up on certain tricks for a little while and just go back to things that you enjoy and are good at um, if it's making you discouraged. If it doesn't make you discouraged and you can just keep working on a trick and even if it takes a really long time to progress it or learn with it, then then keep at it, keep working at it. But if it's making you discouraged or it makes you want to give up, then maybe just take a break from it and work on some other things and you can, can always come back to it down the road. So that's what I'd recommend as far as when it comes to individual moves or tricks. 
Um, and then when it's come to my own personal career, there have been times that I have wanted to give up because uh, as a professional parkour athlete, as a YouTuber, doing these types of things, because it is a, a different path to pursue. It's not like there's this course set out for you that, okay, if I go to school, get this education, you know, get a job at this place, then I'll just be set for life. That's what my plan is. You know, wh what I've chosen to do, making a career of parkour, and of YouTube are things that are very new and very untraditional and so a lot of people who are successful in those things had to kind of figure it out on their own and, and there's obviously a lot of advice and tips out there but ultimately everyone takes a slightly different path and that's kind of how I've taken my path and so sometimes I wonder if uh, you know if ever I when things are struggling or when it's hard to uh, see things become as successful as I'd hoped they'd be, it's easy to go, oh man, I don't know if I'll be able to support a family forever doing this, like maybe I'll need to get another job. And then I look at the passion and the desire and I realize that this is my path, this is what I'm doing and I'll always find ways to continue to pursue what I love doing and, uh, and do it full time to be able to support a family because I love what I do and, and I'm passionate about it. So. So there have been moments where I had those thoughts, but it, it always comes back to, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, like enjoying our life and being happy. And this is what makes me happy. And it's, you know, my wife knows it's what makes me happy. And if I'm happy, you know, she's happy and, and I'm able to support my family. So it all ends up working out, but it's, you know, it's not an easy path. It still takes a lot of work and you have to do things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to do. And so that's kind of, you know, where I've been with those things. And luckily at this point, I haven't given up and I don't plan on giving up because I, I love what I do and I just don't ever plan on giving up something that I love and that I am passionate about and neither should you. You should always pursue those things that bring you joy in life and that gives you that feeling of accomplishment. If ever parkour doesn't become your thing where everything you do with it isn't enjoyable and you just don't like it, then then maybe your path is somewhere else. You should pursue something that you are passionate about and that you do enjoy. But if you do find enjoyment, don't give up on it. Just keep doing it. Find the enjoyment even during the hard times. All right, so there's your basic answer for that question. Um, I know it's pretty long-winded for a pretty simple question, but I just really want to make sure that if there are any of you out there who are discouraged, that everyone gets discouraged. And you just got to push through it and just always put a positive spin on things and always look for ways to make it fun because especially when things are hard if I can find ways to still make it fun to pursue then it's a lot easier than if it just feels like hard work hard effort you know something that's not fun anymore then it's almost pointless if parkour becomes just hard work and I'm not benefiting from it in any way then then what's the point of it and so just always keep that in mind but uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this Q&A. Let me know in the comments what future questions you'd like me to answer. But otherwise, I'll be answering more once again next Wednesday at 4 o'clock Mountain Time. So be sure to watch for that. And uh, thanks for watching.